good to be back up here. I'm actually excited. Typically, I'm not, but I'm actually excited to be up here. I want to start out by thanking Bishop and the pastoral team for allowing me to come back up here. It's always an honor. Um, my verses today, I forgot to give it to the back, but it's Ephesians 6, 11, and 12. And it says, put on the whole armor of God that ye may, may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against the uh, rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You may be seated. When I read this verse, first, uh, two things come to mind. Uh, the poster of Uncle Sam pointing at you and saying, we want you, that's one of them. The other one is, oh, wow, I'm a soldier in the Lord's army. That appeals to me because I wanted to be in the army for the longest time. Up until recently, I wanted to be in the army. Um, but I get to be a part of the army that is greater than any earthly kingdom, which is awesome. Um, we have all been fitted with armor and a sword. And I hope, I hope we all put it on every day. But um, we've all been fitted with armor and a sword. And there are two ty there's two things that happen in war. There's offense and there's defense. I'm, going, I'm not going to speak for any of you or anything like that. I'm only going to speak for me. I notice, for me, a lot of times I'm on the defense. I'm always getting hit, always taking blows. And I don't know why. Why don't I just go on the offense? But, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I lost my place in my notes. But God is good. The devil will gladly, he, will, he relishes at the fact that he gets to take shots at me and at probably all of you. He loves throwing depression and anxiety and all kinds of crazy stuff at me. But you know what? I get to do that back to him. That's, that's what's great about the word. I get a sword. I get an offensive weapon, and I get to go on the attack. Hampton Roads is our battlefield, all of Hampton Roads. And... Unfortunately, it's very easy to find the devil in Hampton Roads. All you have to do is turn on the news. And I'm not giving him credit for all the crime that happens in Hampton Roads, but I know he is, he is to blame for some of it. Some of it's just wicked flesh, people being people. Um, but as I say, crime kind of comes in bulk in Norfolk. So what can we do? What, what can we do to go on the offense? Well, sometimes it's as simple as, you see someone who's sick, and I'm not even just talking about in these walls. I'm talking about outside these walls. You see someone sick, go pray for them. You have the authority by the Holy Ghost to go and speak with authority to that person to say, be healed, and they're healed. We also have truth. We believe there's only one way to heaven. We believe there's one God, and we believe that we have truth, right? Good. I'm, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> um, it is our job to share that to the world and some people, it is harder for some people to get. It's some, it's, it's, you have to build a relationship with some people. It's, it takes time and effort. And others, they're starving for it. Sometimes it's just, thank you, Lord, for this food. And someone else will see me praying for my food, and they'll go, you're praying for your food? What? You're weird. But tell me about it. Okay. They, they have a void in their life. And... If, honestly, if you get close to somebody, they'll tell you about that void. There's, it's a, it's a God-sized hole that only God can fill. They'll throw things in there temporarily that'll fill it temporarily, but we need to show them how they can fill it for good by getting God, by getting the Holy Ghost, by getting baptized, by having a relationship with the Lord. It's a very simple word, but conclu in conclusion, go on the offense. Make the devil uncomfortable. Make him mad. Be petty towards the devil. Thank you. Be blessed, church.